is my pleasure to talk with you today about this year's ACE Grant Award recipients. First, I would like to welcome you and acknowledge Liz Pitts from the Utah Pride Center and event coordinator and other representatives from the Pride Center, including their new director, Mr. Mooseman, um, Oretta Tupol and John Tu'u Tau. Oretta is the on-site coordinator and John is the co-director of the Pacific Island Heritage Kickoff uh, organizers, as well as other representatives from this organization as well. So very excited to have you here. Um, Randall Sear, did I say that right? Sear? <laughs> Randall Sear, Hispanic Heritage Parade and Street Festival organizer and Take Utah director and other representatives from this organization. Uh, this year, I am pleased to announce we are giving $200,000 to 79 organizations that promote diversity, inclusion, cultural identity, and economic development. This is a $30,000 increase from the previous year. Every spring and summer, the capital city is the place to visit for the most fun events in the state. For example, the Utah Pride Festival and the Utah Arts Festival, both are downtown and are the bo both the biggest uh, celebrations that we have in our community. The Salt Lake City Marathon, Farmer's Market, Utah Jazz Festival are some of the other big attractions that you will be able to partake in this summer. All of the other events and community fairs attract people from all over the world who help make this community a rich tapestry of different cultures. The grants range from $500 to $10,000, but all of the events enrich all of our lives by helping us learn about the arts and traditions of our neighbors. This is a great investment in fun, but it brings huge economic benefits to us as well. This year alone, our top nine ACE Grant Award recipients will bring more than 400,000 people to the capital city. Today, we are giving you just a taste of the fun we will have this year through these grant opportunities. I would like to begin by presenting a check for $10,000 to the Utah Pride Center and give Liz Pitts a little opportunity here to have some remarks shared. Yay. I just want to say thank you to Jackie, thank you to Salt Lake City, the ACE funding, the Arts, Culture, and Education funding, thank you to Tina um, as the administrator of the fund as well. Um, we are looking forward to another really wonderful Pride Week, early June, uh, starting actually May 30th, going through June 3rd. Please come join us down here at Washington Square. We're going to have a great time and get salty. <laughs> Very good. Uh, next, I have a check here for $5,000 for the Utah Pacific Island Heritage Month. Uh, my name is Oretta Tupola, and this is John Tuutau. He's our co-director for the Pacific Island Heritage Month, Month kickoff. We're excited and we invite everybody from the community to come and join us at Glendale Park at 6 to 10 on July 28th. We'll have a lot of cultural booths, um, health and resource booths, and it really is a way to bring our community together, but also to teach other people about um, who we are as Pacific Islanders. There's a lot of islands that people don't know are part of the Pacific, and so we want to share those cultures with you. Um, and we are here representing uh, PICTAR for Susie and Simi Malohifo'o, and so uh, come and join us July 28th, Glendale Recreational Park. Here we go. Well, I, I just want to say that I, I'm just happy to be a part of this organization. They're doing some great things to kind of uh, inform the community about uh, the resources that are available to them. And this is one way that we do that, to get outreach, to uh, get out to our communities and uh, share the, the uh, resources that are available to them. Pacific College, Pacific Island Knowledge to Action Resources is uh, a great organization doing that, and we're grateful for the mayor 
to be able to work with them uh, with this event. Yes. Very exciting. Very good. Loretta is going to perform a dance for us. Oh, great. Us Let's do chance. that. Yay. So we're going to share with you a little sneak peek, just like Mayor said, about our event on the 28th. And we're going to do a short number. It's a Tahitian Aparima from the Pacific Islands. Relax. I might have to have you do that every day. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. Beautiful. So our uh, last recipient, we have a check of $2,000 for the Hispanic Heritage Parade and Street Festival. So first of all, thanks to the to the mayor's office for helping us grow our event. Uh, this is the third year that we're having our event. It's the only Hispanic Heritage Parade in the state of Utah, and it's gotten bigger and bigger every year. Um, so if you come to our event, you're going to see a true representation of all the different Hispanic cultures. Uh, you can try foods from all sorts of different Latino countries uh, and entertainment from all the different cultures and countries as well. So we invite everybody to come out to our event in September. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I just want to again say thank you to Tina Heidorn, who is part of my team and really runs this program for the city. And I know there's a lot of others who participate, but thank you. We've really honed in on how to ma maximize our opportunities and, and make sure that uh, the rich cultural experiences of our diversity are celebrated uh, year round. So thank you, Tina, for all your hard work. <laughs>